Hey mountain friends, welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. I want to show y'all how to make the best uh, buttermilk biscuits ever and I'm going to show you how to make some delicious strawberry syrup to go with them. Mmm, so good. Let's get started. Hey mountain friends, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day. Y'all, who, who loves homemade biscuits? And I know everybody I ain't hardly met anybody yet that uh, doesn't love a good old homemade biscuit. Now, I, where I'm from, sometimes uh, when I was growing up, my daddy would call these cat head biscuits. Um, and uh, if you know, how, if you've heard of that term, let me know. Uh, I guess because they always said they were big as a cat's head. Uh, but I don't know, any way you call them, they're just good. and. I like to use buttermilk. I'm going to show you how to make these. This is uh, this is a really easy uh, method, and you don't have to cut them out, and you don't you just form them with your hands. And this is the easiest way that I have found to make them, where they still taste like mammals. All right. Now my mommy always made biscuits in a bowl, and she'd make a well. My mamaw did too, and they'd always uh, form the biscuits out with their hands. They never cut them out. So I don't do that either. Rarely do I cut out biscuits. I don't have time. And I think if you can do it this way and they're just as good, hey. And I've made these at youth camps and, and different places, y'all, and I never had no complaints yet. So they're pretty good. Now I make mine the old timey way. I make mine with, I'm going to be making mine with some self-rising flour. And I'm using white lily self-rising flour. And I am using lard. Yep, I'm going to use some lard. Uh, probably about maybe a quarter cup, but I always scoop it out with my hands. Always done. I've always done it that way. The lard gives it that old timey taste. And if you don't want to use lard, you can use butter or you can use vegetable shortening, whatever you want. But trust me, if you want them to taste more like mammals or mommies, <laughs> most time they use lard. That's what I always tell everybody. So, uh, and I'm going to use some buttermilk, whole buttermilk. And I'm going to use probably about three quarters of a, of a cup to a cup of buttermilk. And these are fairly easy, y'all. And y'all, today I'm going to make them, I'm going to make a strawberry syrup to go with them. I love strawberry jam. I love strawberry jelly or anything like that. But you can make it, you can make your own strawberry syrup. And I'm going to show you all how to make that too. So let's get started. This is really simple. So you're just gonna need two cups of self-rising flour. Let me get me a spoon here. Now, you wanna do, I just take, everybody asks about my canisters. Uh, these are mason canisters, I love them. I think I think I got these at Kirkland's. Kirkland's I know has them. And uh, I think I got them a couple years ago, maybe for my birthday. So, you know, uh, this is how you measure flour out, y'all, so you don't get too much. Just spoon it out. And once you spoon it out, you're going to level it off. Just level it off. Don't shake it down or nothing. Because you don't want you don't want to pack your flour in there. Now, if you've never made biscuits, y'all, don't be intimidated. Biscuits. Biscuits aren't really hard to make. You just got to uh, practice. And y'all, I've been making biscuits since I was probably about 10 years old. I learned by watching my mama and my mom make biscuits. And I just started making them. And I've, I've had a few biscuits through the years that could knock you out probably. <laughs> so the key to that is, um, as mommy always said, you don't fool with biscuits a lot. You don't overwork them. Biscuits are not like yeast rolls or something or bread, some breads that you need. Uh, you don't need them. You don't need a biscuit. You just uh, basically um, stir everything until it's all in there and then you just form them out, roll them out. So now I'm gonna do my, my lard and and I just, I use this, I, I get lard, um, it's usually on the bottom shelf in your grocery store where the oils and stuff are. And it's about, it's usually on the bottom. So I usually get about that much right there. 
and just put it right in here. And I'm just gonna work that in just for uh, a little bit with my hands until um, the uh, flour mixture is kind of crumbly. So I'm just gonna take a couple minutes. All right, the lard is all cut up into the flour. And now all I'm, I'm gonna tell you, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And I got my cast iron skillet uh, griddle here and it's got some butter on it. That's butter, <laughs> softened butter that I just rubbed on. So I buttered that and um, got it all ready. I prefer a cast iron skillet, but you can use any kind of baking dish you want. And uh, so now what you're gonna do is I do kind of make me a little well down in the bottom, just a little. And I'm gonna pour about three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. And I'm gonna start stirring the biscuit. This is gonna be like a thick, kind of thick dough. And you wanna stir it until it's just incorporated. So I wanna stir in a little more. So I start out with about three quarters of a cup. I added probably about half a cup more and I'm gonna stir that. So I add just a little more. So as you can see, this is definitely a method. There's not an exact measurement here. <clears throat> if you do, how I showed you how to do it just thin, it'll be just right. So there's what you want. You want it till it's all incorporated. There's no dry pieces of flour left, but it's one thick piece of like batter. It's more of a batter, really. <clears throat> so now, now you all you're gonna do, you wanna put sprinkle a little of your flour right on top of your dough. Just a little. And this is the easy part. This is what I always tell everybody. This is the easy part. And this is how I've taught Kenzie how to make biscuits too. And I wanna flour my hands. So what I do is I just pinch up, pinch up my biscuits to ever how big you want them, about like that. It's, it's about a two inch maybe in diameter and lightly roll them. Take your thumbs and tuck in the seams because you're gonna have some seams. Take your thumb and tuck in the seams and just roll them lightly till they're kind of smooth on the top. And look, that's how I make them. And I start, I just put it, put one right in the middle. I'll do another one for you. Just, or you can use your spoon. You can dip, you can pick them up with a spoon about that big right there and do the same thing what I just did. Roll them gently, take your thumb and make sure you're tucking under the seams. And just kind of do that and look, a nice smooth biscuit. And I put the one in the middle and start building around them. So I'm going to finish the rest of them and I'm not gonna brush them with any butter or anything. I usually brush them with butter when they come out. So I'm gonna finish putting them all on the griddle and they're gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, because they'll brown really quick and rise really good. So when we come back, um, we're gonna start making the strawberry syrup. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get started on the strawberry syrup for our biscuits. Now, um, I've got about two cups of diced strawberries that I washed and diced up. There's about two cups in there. You wanna do three quarters of a cup of sugar, or you can use sweetener if you want. You can make these sugar-free if you want. And I'm gonna do a half um, juice from a half of a lemon. And it's better with fresh juice. 
And all you're gonna do is just stir this up on about a medium, I got the heat about medium. And you're going to just start stirring it over medium heat until the sugar or your sweetener and lemon juice starts breaking down the strawberries. And you're going to <clears throat> turn it down to about a medium low and let them simmer for about, I don't know, about five to 10 minutes because it doesn't take long. And you don't really need to mash them because the lemon juice and the sugar is going to break them down. And this is so good, y'all. And this is really good. You can use this as a syrup for lemonade, for your tea. And this is really good. You can just use it on pancakes, waffles, whatever. So I'm going to let this heat up. And when we come back, you'll get to see um, what it looks like. It's very simple. Biscuits are done. I put mine under the roller for just a little bit. And this is how I brush them with butter when they come out. Just put me a little cold butter on the end of my fork. And just brush them real good. Mmm. Best biscuits ever, y'all. All right, I've been letting these simmer for about 10 minutes. And if you want it thicker, you can let it simmer for about 15, but it's already reduced down to where it's pretty, where I want it and uh, pretty uh, the consistency that I need. I want to turn, turn it off and let it set for about five or so minutes. Now I like it hot on my biscuits or my, or if you're pancakes or anything, I like it hot, but then you can let it cool too. But y'all look at that, mmm, delicious strawberry syrup. This would be good on pound cake too. So I'm just going to turn the heat off and let it sit for about five minutes. All right, y'all, it's time to eat. Time to eat one of these here biscuits. So I just want to show you. See, these are cat head biscuits. This is what my daddy calls cat head biscuits. Look at there. Mmm, smells so good. Now, if you don't want to do buttermilk, you can use whole milk. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but y'all, buttermilk to me just makes a biscuit. Now, I'm just going to split it down in half so you can see how fluffy and tender these come out. Like, see the steam off of them? Mmm, and I'm going to put a little butter butter down on them get this butter here and ready for my strawberry syrup syrup is what we my mommy calls syrup 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 every now and then i do if i if i catch myself um i call it syrup too you know being where we're from we're from southeast kentucky i don't know anybody else in the country may call it but we always call syrup syrup <laughs> and y'all got my butter on there and now i want to just put the goodness right on top mm. now you could do strawberry jam you know if you want to buy it you go ahead i mean but to me i like making stuff myself you put this in the refrigerator put it in a jar and you can use it like I said, for everything, you can use it on your biscuits, pancakes, waffles. Um, use it as a syrup in, you know, um, your uh, lemonade, whatever you want to do. It's good, but look at that. Mm, strawberry shortcake. There you go. You can do that, y'all. This is so good. All right. I'm going to take me a big old bite, y'all. I'm telling you. Mmm. Y'all, that's good. Look at that. Tastes better to me than what you buy at the store. I mean, it's just so good. Fresh. Yummy. As Kenzie always says, 10 out of 10.
bussing. That's bussing, y'all, right there. That's good eating right there. I have to say so myself. So there you go, y'all. I hope you make this. I hope you make these biscuits. Um, they're, they're my go-to. This is how I make biscuits 98% of the time. This is how I make biscuits. And this strawberry stuff, y'all, strawberry syrup, what do you want to call it? It's so good. Mm -hmm. I got to have one more bite. Mmm. Oh, so good. Best thing ever. Just best ever was. I will be putting the recipe for all this for y'all in the comments. And if you do make it, let me know. Do uh, tag me at sign Mountain Cooking with Missy. Anytime you make any of my uh, recipes, tag me. I appreciate it. And y'all, I'm trying to get the blue check mark. So make sure you go on my page and give me a review. And make sure you're liking the page. I appreciate all my followers. I've gotten a lot of new followers. So I wanted to do this biscuit recipe because I hadn't done one in a while. Uh, but make sure, uh, besides follow me, that you're liking, that you like my page too. So I'm working on getting that blue check mark. And I appreciate all your help. You guys are awesome. So love every one of you. I hope you make this, y'all. If you do, let me know. Thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where it's nothing fancy, just good eating. Bye, guys.